Hi, Carson here with Checks Fans. Super excited for today's video. We're gonna be showing you guys our brand new build sitting behind me. It's a Mercedes-Benz 170 Extended. There is zero expense spared in this build. The customer wanted top of the line everything. All the accessories, awnings, roof racks. So let's walk you through the exterior and then we'll pop on into the interior. All right, so for wheels and tires, we've got the Falcon Wild Peak All-Terrains black rhino wheels um, also for suspension we added a leaf in the rear to help bring up some of that weight sag that you experience so we've got a mini pack in the back um, we also up upgraded all of the shocks around the van and bump stops so we beefed up that suspension a little bit keeping that factory ride height so another feature that we installed were these power steps um, they're made by amp research so they're awesome they light up at night come down when you open up the door and they close automatically, allowing you just that little bit extra of ground clearance um, when you're actually underway. So we'll come around to the back now. We've got a 30 amp shore power connection right here. So when you're at a buddy's house or you're on the road and you need to charge those batteries and you're not using your solar, um, you can do so with shore power. We've got flare spaces on both sides. These just give you that extra width in the bedroom so you can sleep side to side. On the roof, you'll see we have the Orion roof rack. Um, so that houses our solar panels up there. We have three 150 watt walkable solar panels. So giving you a lot of energy in those bright sunny days. This customer is also gonna be off grid quite a bit traveling around the country. So he wanted internet access at all times. So we actually have a Starlink mounted up there on the roof cable comes right through into the cab of the van and the router's inside. Um, we also have our Dometic RTX 2000 AC unit up there accompanied by a max air fan. So in those hotter days giving you that cooling that you need. We also have our Fiamma F45S awning right here. It's got lighting, it's automatic, comes out. We've got these little attachment points on the side of the van so if you're on rocky terrain and you can't get the legs on the ground can easily just attach them to the side of the van. We'll open that up here in a second and showcase that for you. Here on the back of the van, we've got a couple owl van accessories. Um, this is their B2 rack. So you've got two bike carriers right here. These basically extend up holding your front and rear tire. Um, and they're adjustable to different bicycles. So you can hold basically anything, um, any sort of bicycle up here and they lock your bike in there nice and tight carry two bikes up here um, that's on the right door then they have this awesome box right here some mounting locations for accessories down the road trash bags stuff like that this box opens up lots of space in here could easily hold a helmet any muddy gear that you might have also anything you know clunky that you don't necessarily want to carry inside of the van like tennis racket um, even can jam might fit in here so this is an awesome accessory that this customer definitely wanted. And then moving on over here, we've got our spare tire carrier um, and then the ladder going up to the roof. The reason we have to move the spare tire up here is we actually have two freshwater tanks on this van holding about 60 gallons and one of the tanks actually goes into the spare tire carrier up under the van. It's an awesome location to hold that fresh water so we have to relocate that spare up here. It also gives you way easier access if you were to get a blowout on the road. Speaking about under the van, we've got two fresh water tanks. We have two gray water tanks as well because we've got a split in our water system. So we have our shower on the left side and our sink on the right side. So let's move up to the roof, show you guys those walkable solar panels and the Starlink setup. Here we are on the roof now. Like I said, we have those three 150 watt walkable solar panels. These are really awesome, um, super easy to install. They're super low profile. And like I said, you get the walk on them, so it's better than that. We've got that Dometic RTX 2000 right here. Um, and then we have our cell boost. That's a Wii boost that's on a flip up. So all you do is undo that bracket, flips up. And then when you're underway, um, you can flip it down so you don't hit anything with it. Moving up to the front of the van, we have that max air fan right there. And then here is our Starlink mount. 
So we've got a Starlink up here on the roof, which is awesome, giving you that internet connectivity when you need it. We've got that light bar right here. And then we've got a little wind fairing up there in the front to help direct that wind up and over the vehicle. Okay, so for the Fiamma 45S rack that we have on the roof, we have the power button right here for the light. Takes a second to come out. All right, so the Fiamma rack is uh, pretty cool because you've got a couple of ways that you can actually extend it and put it up. We have these mounting brackets right here built into the side of the van. So these legs will actually come out. And if you're on uneven terrain, all you have to do is just extend this, set it right in here. Other side. So with the awning out, it gives you quite a bit of sun cover and also rain cover. It's also positioned in a way that if it is raining outside, you know, it comes all the way to the end of this door here so you can enter and exit the van easily without getting wet. Right here at the entryway, we have these little cubbies for flip-flops, socks, stuff like that. Flip-down table. It's also on a retractable cable so you don't have to mess around with it. You just literally pick it up, it stays put. Outdoor speaker, it's awesome for those days you got the door open on the beach, play some music. We have our flip up table right here. So this not only extends your cooking surface, it also acts as a table when the passenger seat swivels around. So you can lower it down like that, work on, work on the table, eat, do whatever you need to. That flips down. We have a nice little entryway light right here. So we'll hop inside of the van and uh, show you guys inside. I'm six foot three, so I'm a lot taller, but as you can see, I comfortably stand up inside this van. Um, we accomplish that by doing a lower profile floor and ceiling. Um, so we'll hop up in here now. We'll show you the two chairs up front. Uh, the customer went for Shieldman's, so they're super comfortable spin around we use the alpine system swivels so as you can see he didn't really care too much about seating other than he wanted a place to work and a companion as well so we have a table right here um, for when he's doing his work it's also on a lagoon mount which is awesome and this is something he wanted he wanted to be able to play a game at night so swivels out and then you can also flip this table up as well so, you've got two tables side by side, easily able to hang out, play a game. All right, so an awesome thing about this table is it actually flips sideways like this. Um, so you're able to tuck it up away in, in the corner a little bit easier. Um, but when it's under use, or if you don't feel like doing that, you can easily just stow it away in this corner um, and then the driver's seat can I can actually sit and drive with this table in this orientation. You have this bug net, um, so it's basically just a screen that you can pull down over your door. If there's any bugs out at night, you can actually get some nice airflow in here without having all the bugs. We also have our privacy curtains that live right up here. So when you are at a campground or wherever you might be staying, you know, you can get some of that privacy. People aren't staring at you through the windshield. Um, this is right behind the driver's seat. This is where we house our Starlink. Um, we also have our WeBoost monitor. So a lot of electronics going on in this cabinet. 
Um, we've got a power outlet in there as well. But something that this customer wanted was hanging. Um, he said, I don't fold clothes, I want a lot of hanging space. So we built two wardrobes, one right here with one single rod. Um, and then we've got one on the left side of the shower there that actually has two rods in it. Um, this one has a, a light right here. So you tap the light, you can open up the door. We've got a mirror here on the door. Uh, plenty of room for hanging, which is awesome. Definitely something that he wanted. And then right below it here, we've got our double stack fridge and freezer. Um, so here at the top is your fridge space. This is an isotherm. Once it gets up to temperature too, it doesn't actually draw too much current. You're talking about three amps an hour. Um, this is your freezer area. So lots of space in this fridge. There's a shower in the van. Uh, we do fix showers. We love to do them. Um, clients especially love them. It's really nice to have a shower days that you know you might be at the beach, want to quickly rinse that sunscreen off. We have a dry flush toilet in here. It gives you about 27 um, flushes, and then it basically wraps everything into a bag that you can easily dispose. So lots of room in the shower. Um, I can actually comfortably stand up. And then the flooring, uh, the teak floor, actually you can take it out. So if you want a little bit of extra space, you can pop that flooring out. Here's our shower head. Um, it's on a magnet, so you can quickly rinse yourself off, um, snap it right back on there. Body wash, hair wash, lotion, everything up here on the wall. This is our second wardrobe right here. This is a ceiling to floor setup um, with a full or almost full mirror here on the left side of the door, giving you two tiers of hanging, which is awesome. It's really providing that customer with the hanging needs that he has. And then here's a, another house speaker right here. We have a total of two in the ceiling, two in the rear, and then including that JBL. We've got our USB plug outlet. So when this table's up, you can charge devices. We also have the same thing over here right behind the driver's seat. Moving back into the kitchen, awesome farmhouse style sink. Lots of water pressure in there. We've got soap and also we have this water filter for filling up water bottles. So moving down the kitchen guy, we've got some storage space right under here. Fire extinguisher. These are all on soft close hinges as well. Um, plenty of storage space for all your kitchen utensils, what have you. We also have these awesome latches that you can actually adjust depending on how much weight is in the drawer. Um, so all you need is a flathead screwdriver, you can adjust those and then they click close just like that. Giant drawer right here underneath the microwave, perfect for pots, pans, cooking utensils. Built-in microwave right here. And then this is a vent right here. That is for our cooktop. Uh, we have a inset induction cooktop here takes up a little bit of the counter space, but because it is actually inlaid into the countertop, you can still utilize this entire space. And then something that people often don't think about in vans is trash cans. Um, so we actually have this trash can right here. Super awesome, super large, as you can see how deep it is, and it perfectly fits a trash bag. And we designed it so that this lip right here, you can actually put the trash bag around it and you've got a full-size trash can. Um, we've got a window right here. So on those sunny days, if you're cooking, you can open this up, air out any cooking fumes slash get some sunlight coming in there. Magnetic window shade, paper towel holder, um, something super nice to have. So all of our overhead cabinets, high pressure laminates, so they're super easy to clean, super durable. Um, and they're all on gas struts. So they open up for you, they stay open, and they also stay closed. Lots of light in this van. We've got another plug right here. This is our control panel. Uh, we have bedroom lights, hall lights, and the nice thing is they're all on a dimmer switch too. So you can easily dim these down. And even our touch lights as well, if you hold them, they dim nicely for you. All right, another cool feature about this van, we wanted to add some accent lights in, um, especially, you know, at nighttime, you don't want to wake up someone that might be with you. It's recessed right here underneath the butcher block countertop, right on the front edge here. 
So it gives you just a little bit of light during the nighttime to easily access, you know, your fridge, uh, your sink or your toilet. Just illuminates this hallway nicely without having to turn on those bright overhead lights. Here is kind of our control center. Um, it's right next to the bed. Super easy to sit here and check out everything. We use the Victron Servo GX platform. So nice LCD screen here showing you, you know, exactly what your discharge rate is, your fresh water tanks, your gray water tanks, how full those are. Um, it also allows you to control your AC inverter, charging, shore power, all of that. These right here on the left side are heating pads for our fresh water tanks. So when you're in a little bit of a colder climate and you don't want that water to freeze, you can actually turn on these heating pads. They're also colored red, so you know that they are heating pads. And then right to the right of those are our ball valves on our gray water tanks uh, for the shower and for the sink. We use toilets that don't actually drop into our gray tanks, um, so we don't have to deal with any sewage. So when you're at an area where you can dump those, you can quickly open up those ball valves, empty those tanks out. Right below that, we have our hot water heater control. So this is on a timer switch. You can turn on for however long you need your hot water. Right under that is our water pump. And then you've got another AC plug. And then this is one of those USB DC plugs right here. So you can charge, you know, tablet, phone, what have you. And then under that S bar heater control, we have a heater in the front. So on those colder days, if you're not using your AC unit. You can quickly turn on your heat going back and forth on whether or not we wanted a TV in here. We settled on a projector um, because it actually wants the ability to take it outside. So right here we have a battery powered um, projector. It also hardwires straight into the van so it actually charges. Here's our screen across the bed. Um, pretty awesome. You got Netflix, YouTube, and this connects straight up to the Starlink. Um, and then right here is actually the soundbar speaker for it and we'll dive into this a little bit more. But solution, um, you don't have to carry a huge TV and also the projector happens to be 12 volts so you're not having to run that inverter when you're wanting to watch TV. And the nice thing is the screen tucks right up in a way. Still have access to your window. All right, so here we are in the bedroom. Giant bed in this van. We maximize the bedroom space as much as possible. The flares too give you that extra room. Like I said earlier, I'm 6'3", so. I can actually completely lay down comfortably in here. Obviously I need a pillow, <laughs> <laughs> um, but with a pillow, you know, I'm sleeping completely fine in here. I fit, I fit well. All right, so jumping up into our bedroom, we've got our AC unit right here. So on those hot days, um, when you're laying down to go to sleep, you get some nice AC cooled air blowing on you. We've got two speakers here at the back. Those are part of our house speaker system. And if you look up right here in this overhead cabinet, we actually have our amp. We have our DC fuse panel. So those are all of our fuses um, for our whole system. So they actually light up red if one of them blows. So you can quickly, you know, either reach in the back door here or hop into the bed and pop a new fuse in there. We also have this awesome, we also have this awesome JBL system right here. So like I said earlier, this is actually a Bluetooth speaker, um, but it's also a hardwired subwoofer. So this actually communicates with our house speakers. So when you turn this on, it charges directly through the DC on the van. Um, but if you're ever out and about and you're like, oh, I wish I had a Bluetooth speaker with me. Awesome thing is all you have to do is disconnect this. And you've got a waterproof, full range Bluetooth speaker you can take with you wherever you want to go. So this has been an awesome solution for not only having a subwoofer on board, but also having a full range Bluetooth speaker. So I highly recommend if you want to install one of these, you get it done. They are a little bit pricey, but in my opinion, they're 100% worth it. So here we are now in the garage area. Um, we did this awesome shiplap on the back doors, kind of tying the whole build together. We also have those, you know, blackout privacy curtains. 
that are magnetic for those rear windows. And then we opted to use Lawn Seal here in the garage. Super durable product. Um, if you spill anything in it, it's easily cleaned. They just make a really nice rugged feel for the garage space. We have some more of those lights that we use for the accent. They're actually built into our structure up here, so they're super low profile. They're tucked into our 80-20 aluminum frame, so you're not gonna hit them if you throw anything in here. We have our outdoor shower right here. So on those sunny days, beach days, you gotta rinse some equipment off. We have that outdoor shower for you. Some nice heavy duty angle here, so you're not gonna damage any of the flooring. And then we've got our magnetic pop-off panels. These are HPL on the front, so super durable. You're not gonna damage them when you're throwing stuff into the garage. On this left side right here, we have our hot water heater. We also have, we also have a little bit of storage space at the front um, but these are our water manifolds. So this splits our system across the van. It also allows you shut off for certain things during the winter time, um, if you're gonna be winterizing the van. Water pump, accumulator. Here's our outdoor shower hose right here. This is where it lives. Here's that outdoor shower right here. Giving you the ability on those beach days, muddy days, what have you, to rinse your feet off, rinse yourself off, rinse any gear off. So it's awesome to have this feature on board. We have hot and cold on this. These panels are on magnets as well, so they very easily just snap into place, which is awesome. So over here is our battery and power bank. Um, so this houses all of our solar charge controllers, our distributors, our batteries. We have a total of 540 milliamp hours on board. It's two of those large Battleborn batteries. Pop these panels off. So here's our battery system. AC fuse panel right here. So we've got our breakers, fuses for that. Links distributor, master on and off. Um, we're using the Victron Multi Plus 2 inverter. 12 volt, 3000, 120 amp. So plenty of power there it's an awesome system our solar charge controller up there we have DC to DC charging on board and then like I said we've got those two 270 amp hour Battleborn batteries we redesigned our battery systems on this we did a double stack and they're on a sled system so if any of the batteries were to fail all you have to do is disconnect the batteries from the system take out this one upright for the bed frame and that entire sled actually comes out of there the two batteries and then you can quickly you know exchange them hope you enjoyed checking out this build unfortunately this one's spoken for but if you have any interest in purchasing a van having a custom built one by us please reach out to us we've we really enjoy building these um, it's something we're super passionate about so if you are interested and you're located in the northern virginia area Either stop by our shop or check us out www.checksvans.com. You can also reach us by email, info at checksvans.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll answer them as best as possible. And thanks for watching.